This is going to be the first of its kind and maybe the last depending on how you feel about it. Over the summer I did a video that was a come shopping with me video as I was getting ready to go on vacation and while currently I am not getting ready to go anywhere tropical I did do a bit of shopping in January during the sale like the post Christmas holiday sale season and so I've kept everything that I've purchased and I thought I could show you what what I bought and maybe do a little bit of like a try-on haul with you. This is so far out of my normal comfort zone, but when I did a recent closet tour video that I will link here for you, I was asked in the comments and in my DMs, would you show us some of the clothing that you like? So I will link everything that I can in the description box below, but I'm not a fashion vlogger, so hence the first of its kind video. And if you don't like this, we never have to do it again, but I am also super nosy about what other people purchase, what clothes look like on different body types, so I thought this could be fun. Some of this is from purchases I made online. Some of them are in-store purchases. I will make sure to differentiate for you. In January, I tend to get a little bit sad that the holiday season is over. Uh, we take our tree and all of our decor down basically December 26th so that I have time to process and like start new with the upcoming new year. But it's a sad time for me emotionally because we live on Cape Cod, it's gray and cold and often rainy. So we go through this season where like we hibernate, it's dark early, I can't really get outside to run as much as I want to in the mornings. So in order to combat some of that sadness, I shop. And yes, I have healthier other coping mechanisms, but truthfully, this also brings me joy and it's one of the ways that I can take care of myself and keep my wardrobe fresh for upcoming seasons. I always buy things with a purpose. You'll see. What really kicked off this tiny shopping spree is the sunshine sale that Lily Pulitzer does every single year. We have a Lily Pulitzer store on Main Street. If you don't know what Lily Pulitzer is, it's a store for women that features like bright, tropical, fun prints. It's preppy for sure. Um, some of it's a little gauche for my taste. I'm like used to really be into some of the Lily prints. Hang on, I'll show you. So I don't have that much Lily in my closet any longer. I used to have like long maxi huge print dresses and I'm not really into that anymore. This was my first day of school dress this year and I really love this one because of the t-shirt material, the simplicity, it's oversized, but it's also like bright but muted at the same time. So this will probably come to St. Thomas when we go on our tropical vacation, but that's not until April. I love this one too. This was my first day of school dress last year. It has pom-poms on the sleeves. If you follow any of our Disney journeys, I bought this to wear on a cruise over the summer, but also possibly to wear in Disney World because it's kind of like a Mirabelle-esque bound. But anyway, these are examples of Lily prints. Last year, during this sale, I bought Callie a little red sweater that says Joy, I think, on it. It was two sizes too big, but I bought it on purpose during the sale so that next Christmas, yeah, we're already going there, her elf can bring it for her. So, when I saw this in the sale, I thought, I must have this so that Callie and I can take cute pictures together. And it's like the opposite colorway. And it says cheery on it. And there's like little rhinestones. This would be like probably too loud for me during the course of the year. But at Christmas, can you have too much glitter? I don't think so. Originally, this was $108. And I think I ended up paying 30 for it, which is why I love the sunshine sale. I also got this in a large because I wanted it to be oversized. You'll see in the try on clip. Can it be Christmas again, please? Cheery. This is definitely oversized, which is exactly how I wanted it. I am doing like a whole winter white thing. This isn't like a stark white. It's kind of like a cream. 
So you could tuck it. You could easily wear this with like really cute leggings. I think my Yvette green leggings would be really cute with this as like a cozy look with tall boots. You could wear this with regular denim. You could tuck it into skirts. It's very cute. I will say that it's like thin. This is like Henley t-shirt material, not like sweater material. So I'm so glad I did not pay full price for that, but I think it's really cute. And I'm sad I have to hide it away until next year. I haven't even like unwrapped these yet. Oh, Chelsea. See, it's been so long that I forgot what I purchased. The only other thing I grabbed from this Lily sale was a cardigan and it's like this gold sparkly material with the fringe on the bottom little gold lily buttons oh i love this be careful not to snag will do my best this sweater was 168 dollars, and i again i think it was 40 in the sale i will try it on for you but i thought how cute would this be you can kind of wear it as a blazer because of this little detail, I think, on the shoulders. But this would be cute with white jeans, right? And like little mules. <gasps> Over dresses, adorable. I found this little J. Crew flutter sleeve denim wrap top in my closet. I forgot I owned this, so this was a lovely surprise. I'm gonna switch, I'm still in the, these are made well, by the way, these white jeans. Um, this is the Lily Pulitzer Cardi. Oh. If you are a teacher, I mean, oh yeah. I feel like this would also be great with a bodysuit. Oh, and there's a little hook for the middle that I didn't know existed. So you could wear this. I feel like the button here or the clasp here looks weird with this V-neck. These buttons come unbuttoned. Oh, they do to make these little real pockets. Yeah, this would be awesome for the holidays because of the little glitzy glamour of the gold. This is like an elevated, super preppy look. I would probably need to find something to go under this, like a tank bodysuit maybe. What color would look good with like a gold and white, like a blush pink? I don't really do black, but a navy? Would look nice underneath this is a it's very soft but it's also a tiny bit itchy so i think it's because of all the glitter like the glitter that runs through this i understand why they say don't snag it but i like this it's like an instant professional look but while being very cozy and i love the boxy shoulder detail i feel like it's hitting me in the right place Ooh, i'm so glad i have this Ooh. Now the thing about the Lily sale, if it's something you'd like to shop in the future, is that everything is final sale. I've really gone wrong in years past where I purchased things not being able to try them on in store first or not owning anything from Lily and assuming my size. It's why I never buy the shorts. I love their scalloped edge shorts, but I never buy them because I don't know what size I would be. be. And Lily tends to do a lot of vanity sizing, meaning that I'm like a six, but sometimes I can fit into an extra small in dresses. Like, so I need to try things on first, but I felt like with tops, I'd be safe. J. Crew, I got to go into an actual J. Crew store because we went to the mall. When is the last time you've done that? And there are two things here that I purchased. Again, these were both on clearance and were things that I had previously had in my basket online. I like, I'm more like a basket filler. Do you do this? I go online to stores that I know I love. I fill my cart and then I just leave. I leave the cart and then you get emails like your cart is waiting for you. Sometimes you get discounts emailed to you, 15% off if you buy what's in your cart. That always gets me, but I just like to look and see and think about how I would style something. And then typically when I think that through, I purchase, but I'm not like an impulse buyer, if that makes sense. Like. I like a plan for the things that I'm buying. This may not look like I have a plan because it is a neon green yellow tank top, flutter tank top. And I'm definitely going to be embarrassed to try this on with you with the current color 
of my skin. But let's go with the vision, okay? This isn't a medium. It was $12.99, not originally. There are so many stickers on top of this. And then it was 60% off. This was like a $5 item. And I thought, how cute on vacation with white jeans and slides. Maybe I'll try it on with this cardigan. I would never style them together in real life, but just for the sake of this video. These try on clips are being brought to you by the next day and freshly washed hair, which is why the curls haven't fallen yet. This is probably going to feel very inappropriate for a winter 2023 look, but we're going all tropical and I'd like to apologize for the color of my skin in this little frilly top. This is the one from J. Crew. You can adjust, like these have little slideies on them to make them tighter. I did put a strapless bra on this, but I put on my like summery rattan earrings. I love these, these are from Vineyard Vines. And then I didn't know which shoe would look better with the white jeans. So we're gonna try both. And I also pulled these earrings obviously from bobble bar because i thought ariel's tail color like you could use this as a disney bound as well so let's see full outfit i mean i think both shoes do work but the blue sandal wins so this is like getting ready for vacation oh let me grab a bag aren't we ready for a little tropical travel. Now I have months before I'm going to actually be ready, but like, this is a summer look. She's a summer vibe, little sandals. Yeah, yeah, sorry the jeans are not steamed or ironed in any way. They just came out of the dryer, so they're still even partially wet. These are the things that we're doing. But I feel like for five or six dollars for this top, it's working. I think it's supposed to be a little bit of a crop. Like you could also tuck it a little. I don't know. I kind of like the way it looks open with these jeans. I'm not sure how I feel about this like flappy bit, this part right here. But I think for the price, we will overlook it. Okay. It's time for the next outfit. And the other thing I am very excited about is the cardigan of my dreams. It could be perceived as super boring to people that I'm buying like cardigans. <laughs> it's what I like. Look at these buttons. Do you see these buttons? Look at these. <gasps> with jeans, oh, with a skirt. Maybe I will style this with a skirt. <gasps> with like the cozy black leggings I have on right now. Oh, so excited. This is in a medium. It was $120 on sale, marked down 60% from there. So math is hard for me. I'm an English teacher, but this was a 40 to $50 cardigan. It's so thick. Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Oh my gosh. I have found my new favorite sweater. So I showed you the buttons on these and I paired this sweater with my Kate Spade disco balls, as I call them, because sometimes more is more. I did tuck the front button into this pink pleated skirt. The only thing that could make this outfit better is one, if we were in Disney World and I could finally wear a sweater, meaning it's cold, but two, if this was tulle. Oh, all like my favorite design details. I love that this is like a little oversized. You could leave it unbuttoned, of course, but I wanna wear it as a sweater. I love this. How am I not gonna wear this once a week forever? Oh, you could do this with jeans, any kind. You could wear it over uh, dresses. I love this with my little Veja sneakers. This might be my new favorite winter staple. Oh, I love it. I love it. My only, this is not a complaint, but the only thing is that these buttons are not easy to do and undo. 
because of the nature of like the fabric getting caught on them. So you just need to be careful. Oh, let me show you some things that I got Cali from Bliss, Bella Bliss. There is something in here that I need to exchange because I think they sent me the wrong size, but for Valentine's Day, I got her this little hat with her initials on it. Look, little heart. How cute is this? You don't have to get this personalized, but the hat itself was on sale. Sorry, she's in the living room coloring. The hat itself was on sale, so I thought that was so stinking cute. And then I just added the personalization. My husband said, oh, so she can wear it just this month? No, oh, just because it has hearts on it. Silly. I also got her this white cami from Bella Bliss, and it comes with these little undies that have like printed crayons and things on them. I thought this would be really cute as a first day of school outfit for second grade for next year. Whenever I see sales, I try to think ahead in terms of like holidays, birthdays, etc. What can I stock up on now? So that way I'm spending little bits of money throughout the year, not all at once. And then this is the thing I was most excited for. Uh, I don't want to take it out of the packaging because I think it's the wrong size. It says that it's a six and the receipt says that I ordered a seven. So if this is a cashmere puff sleeve sweater that has like little buttons on the side. It has gray stitching around all of the edges. I got this for a steal. I'm just hoping that they still have her size. So I need to contact them and get an exchange on this. But I thought that was, that was such a fun January find. I've never shopped from them before. I am very excited to try this dress on and fingers crossed hoping it works. Ivy City Co had a huge sale. They did the red dress that I wore to Magic Kingdom. My like favorite red dress. I'm pretty sure Ivy City Co is my new favorite dress company. I will leave a picture here of what that dress looks like. And they had this dress in the sale. It's called the Lover's Dress, which makes sense because they just came out with a new Lover's line that dropped a week or two ago for February one of those pink tulle puffy sleeve dresses oh, i will leave a picture of it up on the screen it's my it's my next favorite obsession i ordered this in a small because the reviews said there was a lot of room in it i'm hoping that that's true Look at this. this is the dress of dreams right it's pink lavender white kind of tie-dye comes with a fabric belt this pleated ruched i guess it's not ruched it's just pleated skirt i'm excited for this one i am excited for this one this one gives me very much disney vibes but also will be wearing once a week forever i feel like i've hit the jackpot with just these last two pieces ivy city co you have done this again look at the pleats on this skirt. I didn't steam it, so it's definitely a little wrinkly on top. We have these wings, or these like flowy arm details. The fabric belt that you definitely could tie up. I don't really know how to do a good job tying fabric belts. If you have any suggestions or video tutorials for me to watch, will you leave them in the comments? The colors of this scream spring and summer and everything hot and fun this is a a hundred percent a disney outfit this is coming to disney world with us it's probably coming to st thomas as an evening dress it's one of those super lightweight fabrics that you can like roll up into a ball yeah we're this this dress you're going to see a lot on Instagram. I kept my Kate Spade earrings on, but I would probably pair it with something a little more delicate. And sandals! Oh. I could not love this more. And then lastly, I ordered new straps for my watch, my Apple watch. So I wear this band every single day. Doodles? 
I'm just gonna film one more part and then I'll be done, okay? I just made a little bit of a You did? Yeah. We're gonna go to the library in like three minutes, okay? Okay. Wanna bring some chapstick with you? Thanks for being such a good helper. So I was on Instagram and I've been served this ad for a company called Pretty Straps for weeks and I had liked it. I saved one of the like little reels that they did and then they had a sale. So I ended up buying two different straps for my Apple watch band because I do wear this one every single day. It's like the, the, it's the one strap that goes all the way around and I really like it. I like that I can get it wet. I like that it's like easy, but I also feel like when I'm wearing really beautiful dresses, I'd like my watch to be a little more elevated. So I also bought this. So I'm going to show you how and if I can manage to use this tool and a tutorial to swap these onto my watch band. The other thing I like that it came with is this little like velveteen pouch for all of your straps. So I will leave these also linked in the description box so that you can check them out for yourself too. And if I end up with any discount codes, let's manifest that, okay? Uh, I will leave those in the description box as well. I am not doing this video with the intent of having any discount codes for these brands, but let's never say never, okay? It's the year, it's the year for all of us. I also have two things that I've ordered that have not yet come in that I am so thrilled about. Oh, we have a little guest visitor. So, oh, thank you. Oh, ice and everything. Yeah. Callie is here to make sure I stay hydrated. <laughs> but I ordered myself two things that I am over the moon thrilled about that I will insert clips of once they come in and I hope they work, but I don't usually make designer luxury purchases for myself and decided that like this was the year for that. So I did something. Hopefully that will work. My last January purchase has arrived and this is the one I'm ex most excited for, but I already know I'm going to need to return or exchange one of these two pieces. So I was reading on Instagram. It linked me to an article about like investment pieces. And the idea was if you know that you're going to wear something routinely or if every year you repurchase the same thing, instead of doing that, like buy one high quality version of that thing. So for me, it's brown boots. Um, I have two pairs of brown boots. One has like a little chunky heel and one's a flat. And I buy a flat pair or a pair of flat brown boots every single year. So I figured instead of spending like 75 to $80 on the versions that I'm purchasing, could I invest in a pair that will last me much longer? And that's kind of the attitude that I'm taking with things that I know I'm going to wear over and over and over again. And I think I've had a pair of brown boots in my wardrobe since high school, but it's never the same ones. And I used to have to buy expensive ones with the wider calf um, that had like the extender or the stretchy bit in the back of the boot. So I would never invest because I never felt like designer boots were, would fit me. So this is also like a non-scale victory type of reward um, that I'm able to buy designer boots. It's like, it's a very exciting thing. It may not be exciting for those of you who have always had normally sized calves, but I have never been that girl. So I went on to guilt. This is not a partnership with guilt. I used to, okay, also a non-scale victory. I used to love sitting in the tub when Mark and I lived in our first house that we ever bought in Rockland and I would scroll guilt. I couldn't afford anything on there. We were living paycheck to paycheck, uh, probably worse than that. Like we weren't even making it paycheck to paycheck. And I would think about how I would style certain pieces or the types of women purchasing the things that I was loving. And now while I'm, I still do that with certain brands like Hermes, now I get to go on Guilt and do a little like splurge shopping for myself, which is such, such a nice, feeling that I'm able to do that. So I went with one of the brands I love most, which is Tory Burch. I love Tory Burch sandals. I liked the style of the boots that were here. 
I tried the one on and these are gorgeous, but I think I need a half size bigger. Aren't these beautiful? I love this little tassel detail. The Tory Burch emblem, that's like the only branding on them. They're this lovely dark chocolate leather and they're in a seven, which is traditionally my size. Look at the inside, look at them. They smell good. The inside with like the Tory Burch emblem in here, so cute. I think I might need a seven and a half. Now on Guilt, there were several different boots that I really liked. This was just one of the pairs. So I am gonna try these on again, but I'm going to try to exchange them for a seven and a half. I can't have the ones that I purchased from Target be more comfortable than the like pricier version, you know? But I like that these are flexible. I think because they're leather, that there's some give, but not a lot. It's not my calves that they're tight on. It's just that they were tight around my foot, which is interesting because I have, oddly enough, I have very thin feet. So like they're not wide. So I think these will need to be exchanged. Stay tuned on Instagram because I plan to style these with everything. We're going on a trip to Nashville um, in a few weeks. So I really wanna bring these with me. And the other purchase that I was very excited about is from Valentino. I have never purchased anything from Valentino before because that's like definitely a bougier brand, but something that I wear a lot is a belt with dresses, like it's another way to style a dress. And I was looking for something skinnier than the belt I currently have because the belt I'm using is the belt I wear in my jeans. And then I just like tighten, 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 or I add new holes. This beautiful belt, let's get it out of its packaging. The Valentino crest is here. It's in this lovely dark brown chocolatey color, kind of would match the boots, right? That's the plan. And then this is gonna be on either the last one. I'll tell you the sizing of this in a minute, but, and I would never do this, okay? Okay, if you're like, you're giving us fashion advice and you're wearing a pink, orange, and white sweater with a belt around the edge. But the idea is that this would just go around my ribs on the dresses that I'm wearing. My white ones, my sweater dresses, like all of those. I got this, let's see, in a size medium. I probably could have gotten it in a small, but if necessary, I will add holes myself. Um, and I, I wonder if I could wear it on the second to last. I feel like with bulkier dresses, yeah, that could still work. But it does work on the last notch. Not that I anticipate losing a ton more weight, but I also, if it's that big, would I be able to wear it with jeans? Possibly. It would be nice to be able to wear it with both. I just wonder if it would stretch. Like, will this stretch at all? Look, it's a lot of shape there. Definitely wear this with jeans. So this would also work with my jeans. Would I ever want that? Oh, I don't think I hate that. With a little French tuck. Ooh. Just feels very like blingish in your face with jeans. But I'm very excited about this. I've never had a designer belt before. It may seem silly to some people to want to spend this amount of money on a belt, um, but it's one of my staples. It's like one of the things, again, that I go to all fall, even into the summer months, um, but fall, winter, early spring especially, I usually belt my dresses. And so I'd be mixing like high, low pieces. This would be the high piece, and then I'd be mixing it with like a Target dress or something vintage or something I thrifted, so for much less, but I like that mix. So. Those are my January purchases. I hope this was fun for you. Um, I always love to see what other people purchase and how they style them and what they do with their wardrobe pieces. I do believe in like a less is more situation despite this video being 100% consumer based. I like to have things in my wardrobe that make me feel really good and then I wear them over and over and over. I truly don't believe any more in the idea of like not being an outfit repeater. If you understand that joke, 
we're already besties. So thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, please let me know. Will you give me a thumbs up? Will you tell me in the comments? Um, because I will do them frequently. If you like them, just like letting you know what I'm buying, what's on sale, anything I can find links for, I will put in the description box below. I love you. I hope you are excited for this new month and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Bye everybody.